Leeds take aim at Klopp and Liverpool over Elliott injury in controversial matchday program notes. Angus Kinnear, managing director at Elland Road, has hit out at the Reds following an unfortunate incident in a recent Premier League fixture. Leeds United's managing director, Angus Kinnear, has used his program notes ahead of a Premier League meeting with West Ham to aim a controversial dig at Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool, with a German coach accused of influencing match officials. The Whites and Reds locked horns at Elland Road on September 12 in a contest that will be remembered for a horror injury suffered by Harvey Elliott, rather than a 3-0 win for the visitors. A coming together between teenage star Elliott and Leeds defender Pascal Strauch resulted in the former suffering a badly dislocated ankle, with Klopp and his coaching team getting involved before a red card was eventually brandished. Referee Craig Pawson had initially allowed play to continue before being advised to watch the incident back, with Klopp approaching him on the field while Elliott received treatment. Leeds appealed Strook's dismissal, with Elliott admitting that he was the victim of an unfortunate accident, but the Football Association upheld the original decision and a subsequent ban. Those at Elland Road are still stewing, with Kinnear writing. Obviously, our concern was for the welfare of Harvey Elliott, whose response, both at the time and subsequently on social media, proves he has as much class off the pitch as he has on it. We were all pleased to hear that his prognosis was not as bad as first feared and he will be back again next season. However, the adulpated refereeing of the incident was compounded by the anonymity of VAR and the failure of the subsequent appeal process. I believe we made a compelling case that a tackle that was not even viewed as a foul by any of the officials, the opposing players in a crowd of 37,000 could retrospectively be deemed as a dismissal on the strength of an assessment of the seriousness of the injury. One of the panel of three agreed that there is an inherent risk to the welfare of the player in every challenge and that therefore the tackle was not serious foul play. Conversely, the remaining two delegates did not agree. They argued that it was an obvious refereeing error and may have inadvertently set a precedent that any serious injuries that occur during physical contact must be met with disciplinary action.